In this video, we want to squish together two data sets. In this first data set, we've got contact information for two people. It turns out that this is me and my wife. And notice we've got a column that has some sort of unique identifier that is denotes a person. We've got a type of contact information. So for example, I could have it, email, I could have Twitter, I could have cell phones, I could have Instagram usernames, you could have whatever you want here. And then the particular contact information that is associated with that. So for example, here's my email address, here's my Twitter handle, here's my wife's email address. So this is the first set of contact information. Now I have another data set that I read in from a different file but the size of, or the type of the file is pretty much the same where I still have a unique identifier for the person. I still have a type that identifies the type of contact information and the particular value for those. So in this case, this is my daughter's information. I've got some email and Twitter. So you can see that these two data sets really, they have the same structure. They have the same columns, They have, but they have different rows. And what I'd like to do is I'd like to squish them together and end up with a output data set that has five rows, all five rows that are in these. So what we're going to do is we are going to do what's called in Tableau, we're going to do a union. And the icon for a union looks like you're adding rows on top of each other. So basically ending up with where you had three rows, you end up with five. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to do a union. Now, from this, you can see that the two data sets that we had, one was orange and one was green in terms of color. And these columns over here, you've got this little bar right here, and this is denoting that this column came from both my first data set and the second data set. And so all three of these columns have that and that they were in both data sets. Uh, you can keep a a column that denotes where it came from. So in this case, it came, uh, the initial contacts for my wife and I came from this contacts file. My new contacts came from my daughter. Now we can get rid of that if we want. Um, so I could remove that column if I so desired and end up with a nice little uh, data set that looks like this that has all five rows of contact information. 